should be our first, uh, we should do your dive, the Housley life. Yep. children is not perfect I will tell you that um, but what is and I feel like the benefits and the blessings definitely outweigh the stress benefits and blessings of watching your kids embrace it all meet people from all walks of life and enjoy new cultures in this case we came to Kona and the Kona Village Resort Mount H. What's interesting, I actually reported on the Kona Village Resort back during the tsunami in Japan 13 years ago. Uh, we were there covering that tsunami and that actually affected and shut down this hotel for almost 13 years. But after over a billion dollars in renovations, this resort is now back open, no TVs allowed, and a resort style that really focuses more on Hawaiian culture for visitors as well as an idea of living in a village. want to be with us which is actually I think that's a beautiful thing it's endearing usually it really is. ready to go sailing yes absolutely the battle was Aiden a mic nice to meet you Tamara Mom. Tamara Tamara Araya sister Araya sister Adam Daddy. Adam 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 and Tamara Tamara Say hi, Aiden. That's crazy how it drops off. How many feet right over here? Right here? Yeah, like, well, in the dark area, we're in like maybe, I'd say maybe 80 feet of water, and then where it turns bright blue, yeah. it's like 15 feet of water. Yeah. So we'll sail over there where it's really neat and to see. Yeah. was not expecting to feel like we truly are a part of a, a village. I love how the architect and the individuals who rebuilt this place kept the spirit of, of, of the island still here and they wanted to keep it quiet to respect their surrounding neighbors. And you can sense that immediately the moment you get here. Ready? Mm -hmm. So what's the plan here? So right now we're getting the boat ready and then we'll embark on our journey. We're going to paddle probably a quarter, half mile out and then jump in and let you guys snorkel for as long as you guys please. and then We'll hop back in and we'll do a talk about the island, kind of what special things Big Island offers. So if you're uh, hooked, that means one more on that side. Switch sides, you still keep that logo facing forward, you just switch hands. So left okay. hand's down here, right hand's on the T. A lot of people tend to do this. <laughs> we'll switch. Okay, Rye. Go, Rye. Go, Rye, go. Mama, you ready? Yeah, here, grab onto this side though. So what do you think? I don't want to go though. Neither do I. The beach, the beach has been great. It has. The kids love it. Mm -hmm. 
love the black sanded beaches. They're Me too. Cool. The black sanded beaches are amazing. Hello? Also amazing, the food. As you know, we're huge foodies, and a good friend of ours is Chef Robert Salatke, who happened to be at the resort. We didn't even know he was there. And the food he serves is fantastic, which resulted in us getting in the kitchen with him. Like Mesquite, it has incredible flavor. You can smell it. It smells yeah. delicious. Yes. It's crazy. They said Wait, great I thought job, that was Aiden. Good. Grandpa Art said, That's um, great job, Aiden. Grandpa Thank Art. You. Everyone's liking my angles. Thank you very much. I'm trying here. I'm videotaping you. Oh. Videotaping the food. This. Oh. They said they're gonna fly just to to try this food. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna garnish it up. These are some pea shoots that just just harvested. Oh, look how pretty that is! A few pea shoots like that. Perfect. With Kimmy said tendrils. perfect, of course. We'll put a little bit of really fine Julienne oh green on here. Gosh, look at that! And you guys, the smell. Squeeze a little bit of fresh lime juice because coconut and lime is actually yes. in heaven. So amazing. And we're going to grilled broccoli. This is perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks, Chef. Chef. This looks amazing. My favorite moments are always with the family. Uh, obviously, I love to go out and swim by myself and, and do a few things to get my own. I got my first facial here. <laughs> and your skin was glowing, I'm was, just saying. It was glowing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but we only have a few years of all of us together. And it's just really cool to sit there and, and, and go back and think about we came here the first time when Aiden was just born. We came here the second time and Araya kind of remembers being here. And now we're here a third time and she learned how to ride a bike. And here it says, good job. You ride a bike, Araya. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You made it. You're getting so good. <laughs> How's that feel? Oh, no, nice. yeah. Got a girl. Good job. High five. <laughs> high five. High five. Yes. <laughs> you like the bikes? Huh? Oh, I love them. I love them. All right, peace out. <laughs> there she goes. I'm going to miss my bike rides. We chose to come to Kona because Kona feels a little bit more peaceful. As you walk on the trail, let the spirit and the love that the ancestors have for the land live in your thoughts. May the aloha of this land always be with you. Please do not leave this trail. That's cool. Amazing. What does that mean? Looks like a sail, huh? Or a wave. A wave. So, right there it says Liwa. Our room or our holly is amazing. Take a look inside, the view out the back. It's so relaxing. And it's also nice to have a little space for us and the kids. All my trips in my 45 years, so grateful to say that, um, there are two places I feel will always have a little bit of my heart. One, Cape Town. Two, and Kona. I didn't record any of it. Oh my gosh. Okay, do it again, fine. Okay, so being the leader of our family, what made you decide to choose Kona Village? So we have... First of all, you just call me the leader of the family, and we have that on tape, so I'm keeping that one. Uh, you excited? How much do you love the ocean? What was that? How much do you love the ocean? A thousand percent. Duh. Are you traveling with kids? Woo. You can see them behind us. Oh, there's, there's oh, one. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. And I will tell you this, it teaches you lots of patience, but at the same time, I can't imagine traveling with other. Amazing, amazing. Oh my God. 
So that's it. That's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed seven days on the road with the Housie Life.